Hello, this is the voice of encouragement. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever time of the day it is, it's a time when we hear what God is saying to us. And today we're going to be looking at a title, Remember. Remember. Let me take a few minutes of your time and we'll have a quick look at scripture in 2 Peter chapter 1. I'm going to read from verse 15. It says, Moreover, I will endeavor that ye may be able, after my decease, to have these things always in remembrance. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables, when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Verse 17, it says, For he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came a voice to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. I thank God for this opportunity to talk about this this time you know we're looking at the topic remember and when you hear that word what comes to mind the opposite of it is forget right so you see there are basic things about life and the way the mind works with all the busyness of life as we increase in age if we don't tend to keep these things in our minds there's every tendency to forget those things can be really, really salient, important. And here was Peter giving an admonition. He says, I'm about to go. I'm about, soon enough, I'm going to die. But you see, I want to remind you of these things. I want you to remember. That see, this Christian race we're talking about, this life that we're living, we did not follow cunningly, we did not follow gimmicks or tricks device fables no he says but we were eyewitnesses i witnessed jesus i walked with him and we received this word and then he went on further to say two things one he says we heard the voice from heaven when god endorsed him and said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased Secondly, he said, we have received a more sure word of prophecy. We received the word from Jesus. That word is solid. Beloved, a lot of things are happening all around the world. And a lot of fake pastors and prophets all around. Different people professing to know the Lord. But you see, not following the scriptures. And the question I want to ask you, when you gave your life to Jesus, you had an encounter. Do you still remember those things? Do you remember your first love? That thing that made you say Jesus is real. Those things that God has shown himself, you know, has expressed himself, you know, to truth to you. Have you forgotten those things? This word is coming to you now. Don't get carried away by fakes. Don't get carried away by the things happening. God said, he's saying to you, remember and do you know one beautiful thing if there's ever anything we need to remember is what god has spoken and he has given us a more sure word that's what can make us know the truth from the fake know the bible for yourself know the more sure word of prophecy this is stronger than any other prophecy anybody's gonna say the bible the words written on it and the holy spirit is saying to you this morning remember this race is real. And every word that God has spoken will come to pass. And moreover, of all the books all over the world, people have written books. But the only book that stands, hallelujah, is the word of God. The person who wrote it is still alive and is still living from age to age, from generation to generation. And he's still speaking. And he wants to keep on speaking to you, leading you in the way that you should go. So remember, go back. 
to the first love, the first time, and strengthen yourself again. Pick up yourself. We do not follow cunningly devised fables, but we have the more sure word of prophecy. I say what a prayer. Lord, help us to remember. Help us to remember the cross, the blood that was shed, and all the sacrifice you've gone through for us. Help us to remember, we pray in Jesus' name. Till the next time, this is the voice of encouragement. Stay strong.